The Flex EX2 product allows us to do what's called a pairing function between two different transmitters or from a receiver to a transmitter. This is all through an RF communication and when we do the pairing function between transmitters, one transmitter sends an RF information regarding its programming to a new transmitter. If we do the pairing function between a receiver and a transmitter, the receiver sends an RF signal down to the new transmitter and programs it to match the receiver function. So all Flex EX2 transmitters have a unique button arrangement. That would be one, two, three, four, five, six in a six button station, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight in an eight button station, and so on based on the transmitter that you have. We are going to demonstrate the pairing function between two transmitters. Transmitters must be identical for this to happen. In other words, they both have to be, in this case, a six button transmitter. First thing to be aware of is the key switch must be in the off position. The e-stop switch must be elevated. We will now enable the transmitter's programming mode. To enable programming mode, we will depress buttons one and three, then turn the key switch to the on position. To exit programming mode, the transmitter must be powered down. The same steps are applied to the, the new transmitter. So buttons one and three are depressed. Key switch is turned on. Okay. There's a sequence of flashing on the status LED, and what we're looking for is a series of red, green, and orange blinks. To transmit data now from the original transmitter, button number two must be depressed, and to receive it on the new transmitter, button number one must be depressed. When the status LED goes green, the transmission of data is complete. We are going to demonstrate pairing between a Flex EX2 receiver and a Flex EX2 transmitter. This is accomplished by an RF signal being sent from the receiver to the transmitter. To start, we make sure the e-stop button is out. We're going to depress buttons number one and three on the transmitter. I'm going to turn the transmitter on. Release buttons number one and three. And now by pressing button number three on the transmitter and the pairing function button on the receiver, the receiver is sending an RF signal back to the transmitter. And you'll notice that the green status light is now solid, indicating the message has been received. To learn more about the Flex EX2 and the rest of its innovative features, please visit magnatechmh.com.